Jack Jack. Alrighty then. Uh, hello everybody, how are we today? I am your host, the Otaku Gent. And today we are continuing our story in Nino Kuni 2. Let's see here. We now have good standing or have now started our conquest of the world or union of the world however you want to put it I don't judge Either way, we were helping the shipwrights in the hard to pronounce name town. Let's continue on our way. Sorry, was that a screw off dragon? Do your worst. I'm counting on you. So many materials. Hi. We couldn't even get them all. I made while visiting a cave deep underground the dark water that followed there served to chill the air and I could not help a feeling that there was some presence lurking the depth as soon as I finished this piece I raced back to daylight Sends a shiver down my spine. You have captured the dates perfectly. I bet I just screwed that up. <laughs> I bet the place is crawling with ghosts. I love pictures like this. Honestly, it is a very nice picture, isn't it? Or Cloud Coil Canyon. Yeah, these little guys. I'm sure, y'all remember these. 
Falcoil Canyon is home to a pe or pe or peculiar plant known as prop pardon me known as prop leaf clover prop propeller yeah okay by spinning its large leaves it generates a breeze that can carry its seeds far across the valley and if it <sighs> oh, paradise on the earth is waking up carry seeds across the valley and if it gets caught in a strong gust of wind it can even whip up a miniature whirlwind does this plant really exist? Yes, but only in Cloudsdale Canyon. Or Cloud Coil Canyon. I did not know it blew its own seeds like that. This is an interesting fact. Or tidbit. Well, we gotta go check that out. For me. <laughs> Cloth in it. The proper rough and really stuff. It could probably make it a good hard wearing bag out of it. Probably it. Try offering the heritage cloth. No response. Okay. Sackcloth. Well done, traveler. This is what I mean. That's the greatest offering I have ever seen. Oh god, it even has the horns. A higgledy inside the stuff comes flying out. Rejoice! Bean. Bean dar. Bean dread. Mimber. The mean debtor has decided to join your adventure. Look, I even have the horns to match how I was doing it. Okay. Ah, poo. Uh, 
Out the dragon. If the dragon is probably way too high level, we're out. And yet another Ume Bozu in the distance.
Prepare to be boarded! <laughs> Can't help but notice a glaring lack of shipbuilders. Did the ratchet creatures gobble them up? Do you think? Hey! Over there! Do you see if there's something on top of that platform?
Oh yeah, let's go take a closer look, shall we? What exactly is this? Or is uh, it? Some kind of cocoon or egg or something? What? What was that? Blimey! Oh gosh, there's. Oh gosh, there's someone inside it! You mean to say that there's people in them? Every one of them. The blessed things. We got a spider problem. So how many babies are going to get thrown at me today? Then we'd best get the poor swarms out. Careful, we're not alone. Well, that's a new one. Jelly Queen. Some something or other. Okay, I'm. All the things I'll fight today are expected to fight today. Alien Spider Squid Queen was not on the roster. Even though it's surprisingly easy. Come on! Come on! We have to free them all! <sighs> oh god, are these guys. Yeah, thank. Oh my god, were they Australian the entire time? Thank Cranky. Uh, Cranky, we're out of there. I thought we're goners. I thought I were a goner. You bred the best uh, good and proper, eh? Right tasty, you are. <laughs> like, uh, not like us a lot. Sorry about that. Is ev is everybody safe? Mr. Wright was awfully worried about you all. Ha! I bet he were. Right. Not pirate. Ha! I bet he were. There'll be a... Uh, there'll be no getting done with all... Uh, with us all jump up here we'd best get back sharpish or else or we'll never hear the end of it 
do that. Right, old lad. Ta da. So. Ta da for now. See you back in Capstan, yeah? Alright. Alright, Capstan it is. Give the little girl some proper armor. Yeah! <laughs> 
ready for this? Just hit summer not too long ago. Summer. It just hit spring not too long ago, yeah, or it feels like summer. Yes, pepper my step, shall we? <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, to take effect. Watch your backs. <laughs>
careful, everyone. Shoot it.
There we go. I keep forgetting we can do that. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna make myself a quick sandwich. Look at the sailor's asses while I'm gone.
All right, sorry about the wait, everyone. As per usual, things got complicated. Then let's just get back to it. Uh. What in the name of creation are you doing? What are you doing? Would it kill you yet to at least try to look lively? Uh. Er, right here, sorry boss. Ta very much. Ta very much for the rescuing. Getting them daft lads from that monster. I hope you don't think I were too rough, Wim. But it's the only way they'll learn. Honestly, they'll are there thick as pudding. Pudding, the lot of them. It's still good to have them back though. Well, hello there. Hello there, eh? Having us. Having us blokes back as given cap. Uh, capstan new lease of life. And we've got used to think to for that. The very much, lad. Ta very much. Ta very much, boss. I'll be working even harder now that you've said that. Oh, for... Yeah. I've got to tell you, lad. You've come on in leaps and bounds since you started here. It makes all that time spent teaching you something worthwhile. Okay. Hey. Even tempered shipbuilder. All right, uh, y'all are right. You're not stuck up there, are you? <laughs> N no, sir. I'm absolutely fine. Well, I don't rightly know what you're yapping, uh, yapping like that for. But if you reckon you're all right, I'll leave it to you. No doubt you have noticed that there are many of my fellow dog folk here in Capstan. I would wager, but wager that we all here for the same reason. Uh, we are all here for the same reason. To earn money in order to repay our gambling debts. At first I dreaded the prospect of working for a living. But it turns out that breaking a sweat is actually very satisfying. Town of gambling addicts, I swear. Hmm. Oh, hey, Dasher. I'd have a thought. Uh, I'd have a thought. A bane like. A bit. Whatever. Like you'd be. Play some. Oh, monsters. But not a bit of it. Toward the opposite of it. Bit. What out? <laughs> God, this accent. Aye, them guts of yours uh, take uh, your fucking 
you have a bright future ahead. The yeah, right enough. I'm not sure if these people are Scottish, um, Australian or I don't know, Cockney. Hello there. Hello there. A little grim getting a friend. Oh yeah, that's what they're called. Maybe so. Hello there. My little grim walking friend. So very much for coming to rescue us. You really saved the day. Mind you, I think a few of the lads prefer to be back with the monster rather than have to face it, kill, kill it when she's in the mo this mood. Hey, oh. Hmm. What'll it be? Come back again. Very much. What's that? <sighs> You're the one who rescued us, blokes, for us. Eh, by gum. Well, ta very much, lad. You're a real hero, right off. Ay, oh, I cannot. Let's just get this over with. Oh! Hey, up, you Man, see the lads, uh, they're all back safe and sound. You've done, Captain, upon, on, uh, well, uh, Captain, upon you'll, you'll a uh, right big favor, and then some. <laughs> I should have seen him, righty. The kid's a flipping animal, clobbered. That thing what snatched us up like it were not a bush. <laughs> Who ya calling kid ya sackless off? This ain't some banner from down the road. It's a king, King Evan of the Earthlands. I love you know. Whoa! Sure, but. King and all at his age. Oh, so I can understand that one. Some of the kings from history's ages, by God, when they started out. But what's up, king from over the hill and far away? <laughs> Do it coming to rescue the likes of us. Finally, some action. We need a ship. We need shipbuilders. And Mr. Wright told us that at his shipbuilders need our help. That. So that's it, eh? Well, King Evan, if it's a boat building in need us, you found your blokes. So, what are you, what are you after exactly? A nice fishing boat, maybe? Or some to live in? Nah, we can do you a right good houseboat if you need a one. We need something big and hard wearing. We plan to sell around the world, world, Hydropolis first, and then, well, who knows? <laughs> ah, round the flippin' word says uh, like it's a uh, not.
Well, I well I hate to disappoint you, but will not get an ocean going boat out of the water we've got around here. No, we'll be needing some proper hardware and the way is soon it'll wallop you to pieces otherwise. Mm. Hard wood and wood, eh? Hmm. I think we'd better go and speak with Nial. He'll know something we can use for sure. Will it now? Oh, well, you best go and ask your mate Neil then. And uh, let us, us know when you have a word with him. Oh, aye. Aye. Do and all. We have a debt of gratitude to be paying you back. Okay, and... By what the heck? Uh... That is a... Big shark? I think? I confess I am proud of myself today. It has been an age since I landed a catch this big. It is surely enough to feed everyone in the kingdom. Huh. Get a look at, look, get a load of this fine snap of a charfinch in all its fire, fiery, feathery glory. If you ask me, it is more beautiful than even the fairest pirates. Look at its bright red eyes, that flaming tail. Ah, truly a marvel. No one takes better pictures of monsters. I'm not sure I'd call it beautiful. There's something rather appealing about it. Its magic power makes it a fearsome foe. Well, shit on that one. I just love uh, char flinches. You say so. Right, let's take a quick gander around the place, see how it lively it's become. Hey! Uh, I was trying not to talk to him. No, not there yet, Dafta. Pour us out. All of our time, all right. Okay. Yes, sir.
really lively around here. came here in the hopes of earning money to repay my gambling debts. Alas, I am beginning to regret my choice of destination. Ah, quit your belly aching and get or lift with your knees. Special breed of people in Gold's Paw who can actually work for a living, apparently.
far as I'm concerned, these are the some of the only or this the only ability that gets a free excuse to do anything. Or free upgrade pass. From says they manage from storage to food. Even how fast we walk. Research must have really drained our bank. So I want to have a wee word with me. Me are you? Well, let's do this proper and go to the throne room, shall we? Right. You can see that Higgledy's running? Can you not? Well, join the club, but there ain't many sky pirates uh, as the gift. Uh, truth be told, uh, such times uh, as I've mentioned them, um, folks have looked at me as if uh, I've taken leave of my blessed senses. <laughs> <laughs> it would take a brave man to accuse you of making something up like that. I guess it They've kept their doubts uh, to themselves. Um, if we're going back to the forest of Nil, you think anyone would mind if I picked up some of the flowers? Hey, go for it, lass. Hard, hard but in timber, eh? I've an idea of what you might be after. I reckon you could do a lot worse than the than Ironboro Tree of Ten. They grow over the hardwood in the hardwoods there. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and get some. Aye. Aye. That you could, laddie. That you could. But you'll not be wanted to go strolling in there unprepared, believe me. Listen. 
we blocked the path of a while back. There's a problem, see? A dirty great beastie with a few so short, we swear he didn't even have one. <laughs> and there's no other way of getting to these iron burl trees than going through this thing. That's about the size of it, eh? Right. Oh, you'll be needing this. That's a weird magical convulsion. I like to call Thorn away. Anything spiky you need getting rid of. Of this is your stuff. We piled, piled the path up with a puff burst, so we want to you know, want to spray a puff or two that that to clear the thing out. Where is it? Oh, one thing is another. I can't call that specifically targets spiky objects. That seems unlikely. Thank you. Thank you. You very much. One moment. Thank you very much, Nell. Come on, Roland. Thank you very much, Nell. Come on, Roland. We've we'll set off for the forest right away. Sir, all is well. All is well in Evermore. As a soldier of this realm, I want you to know that I am on duty around the clock. No need, to, or no one is going to cause any trouble on my watch.
I hope this is not gonna have any negative effects on me. These must be the puffer birds Nell was talking about. Yeah, they look pretty spiky to me. I think you must be right. He said just a puff or two, didn't he? Well, here we go. Golly! They disappeared just like that! Wow. Wow. They really did. That's some pretty niche product. Oh, a few people over here would use that on the blackberries. Dark type. Alrighty. Watch your back.
Oh, right. I'll be back in just a bit. I'm going to be fighting that thing. I need to wake myself up a little bit more. Plus, one other thing. Be back in just a bit.
Sorry about that, everyone. I re have returned. It seems like we have a quest down the line. That's interesting. All right. Have at ye dogs! Watch your backs! talking about uh, it's talking about the, the prisms in it the proper evil ones all dark and moody and that shall come back for it.
Yeah, no, we're good. your back. Who gets a new toy? This guy.
don't think that's a good idea here. There we go. Seem to be going up against a lot of dark enemies, so Crikey, those... Crikey, those are bigger, are the biggest trees I've ever seen in my life. Aye. Aye. And mighty sturdy, too, by the looks of them. Tidy. These are to make a boat that can take a proper battering mon. Tidy. And we don't have to come across the monster they all mentioned after all. Lucky us! He jinxed it! Also, at this room, if we're building with those trees, we're not building a frickin' frigate, we're building a goddamn battleship! Cruiser, even! I wouldn't be celebrating too soon. It could come out. It could be out there anywhere. I'm sorry, is that a Muna ape? Zor! Doi Defender of the Timber! Oh, okay. Huh? What's he plotting over there?
Lighter bagged, ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Now we can finally get our hands on that wood! We'd better head over to Capstan until Ketch and the others were ready for them to get started. Okay. Oh, we got a couple of. Alrighty. Straightforward, apparently. Mock toadstool. Huh. The princess isn't here. I was just thinking, I was just thinking about you and your kingdom. How's Mural and Lapica Harder, or Herder doing? And over there, hey? Eh? I hope she's alright. Mural? Hi. Or Muriel? Aye. Dear old Muriel. Uh, dear old Muriel, I bet she's. Been causing all manner of mischief uh, with that bow of hers, eh? I'm sorry, I've. Uh, I'm ever so sorry, but I don't think I've ever met anyone called Muriel. You don't know Muriel? Well, I never. 
I thought you would. She's a grim walker just like you. You, you see. She had a... F she had a flea ding dong dell when all the unpleasantries happened. I was sure she'd have made it to Evermore by now. I know that's where she was heading. Cravens, I hope she it she didn't get lost on the way. What? That would be terrible. That would be terrible. Uh, okay, I want to read you. <clears throat> that would be terrible. I'd better go and look for her right away. There we go. Oh, that's ever so kind of you. Now I can uh, not tell you exactly where she might have gone, got to, but I do know she'll have her lapica go with her. And the two of them are young and easily distracted, both. You have probably uh, been. Uh, or they've probably been charmed by the wonders of the forest somewhere along the way. Thank you. Thank you. I'll search the woods and see what I can find. Look at this. Bows. Not only is she a bowsman, she's a farmer. She can even produce green gale cotton. We have a mission. She got half way there from he from the forest of Nial. So good on her for that. I can hardly fault her for at least trying. A good try at that.
Ah, here's our lass. Oh, <coughs> Airball. Me, 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 me. Oh dear. Where could he have gone? Oh. I think we found our missing person. Your Muriel. Your Muriel, aren't you? Ooh. King Evan, gosh, I didn't expect to meet you here. Are you lost as well? No, we came. No, we came here to look for you. Event, or actually, would you like us to show you the way to Evermore? Oh, I'd love to go to Evermore, more with you, but I can't leave just yet. It's Paco, you see, my my Lapaca. He's gone missing. Oh, sorry, I got something up. I swear I'm gonna have no nasal ability after this. Pills. I see them every day until the actual time I need them. I try to keep them where I can easily get to them, but no, they just. There they are. He ran, he ran off, but I just don't uh, have the energy to go after him. You and me both, this sister. Or... I usually take their. Ah, oh, whatever. I haven't taken them in a while, man. Oh, the resistance. So, everyone, I'm doing everything in my power to try and fight this. Okay. <coughs> he ran off into the forest, but I just don't know. Don't have the energy to go after him. Don't worry. Worry, Muriel. I'll go and fight your Lapaca. So you So you just wait here, alright? Thanks. Thanks. Oh, thank you, King Evan. I'll be waiting right here, then. Ah, 
How are you? There you go. Right. Getting more candy from a stranger in the woods. Okay, gotta make sure that. Now we have to look for Paco. And now he goes soft to God knows where. There's a lapaca. There you are. How did you end up here, I wonder? Well, never mind that now. Let's get you back to Muriel. Yeah. Orgy board? Kill? Borgo. Not even ba or whatever. Okay. Oh, Paco, you. There you are. King Evan, you found him. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> now, now I'll be able to come with you to Evermore. <laughs> Wonderful. You'll both be very welcome. I'd be happy to take care of any monsters that are giving you trouble. I'm a crack with a bow and arrow, you know, and it's the least I could do after you went and found a Paco for me. <laughs> that sounds it's good to, that sounds good to me. Just promise you'll teach him not to go wandering off by himself again. Don't worry, I'll make sure he stays with me at or the whole time. Yeah. Ergo Borgo. Mm. Okay, it would have been easier if it just said Q. Anyway. Perfect. <laughs> well look forward to seeing you or seeing you there, Muriel. Okay, now we'll just... Go to Gold's Paw real quick and check on it. a few things.
Welcome to Swift Solutions. We've had, we've had some requests, we've had a request for some leather from an, uh, from an upmarket shoemaker in Goldspaw. He's asking for quite a lot, but rest assured that the reward will be more than make up for the work involved. You know, no, we count a prestigious, prestigious goldsmith and goldspaw among our regulars. This errant from, or this errant's from them. Fear not, we may be one one of or they may be one of our biggest customers but the errands only a simple request for about as much or as a adventure might stumble across on his daily travels Okay, the tailor goes for a cheat. And Hugh blooms every day to make thy colors for his clothes with its hard work, though, and... We gotta take a short break. Again, sorry, but it's getting warm in here and I need to cool down the room.
Okay, you're probably gonna notice a bit of a sound. That is the AC. It's, believe it or not, that's on low. I think. Eh, that's just off. Okay. Sorry about the sound, but my PS4 is starting to give out a lot of heat, so I need to keep it in mind. Sound. I'm sorry for it, but this is on low and I can't do anything about it, so... Anyway, there's a tailor who's gone... Or who goes foraging for... Cube blooms every day to make dye and colors... Dyes to color his clothes with. It's hard work, though, and he has asked us, has, or asked us for some help. No need to clear the whole field of flowers. Mind, we don't want to run out of them in one day. Okay. okay. When the sky fires take their little ones up, the skies give a rise or wrap. Okay, um. If I keep reading this, we're gonna be here all day, so we're just gonna... If you want pause to read them, by all means. Oh. <laughs> That was easy. Alright. I was afraid of that. 
That'll be a while before we can get more. Apparently. Alrighty. Oh, by the way. We might be gaining some more people after all. <laughs> mm. Ah, you have come to have your fortunes told, yes? Well, well I wasn't planning on it. But since I'm here, I might as, I might as well. Mm. Good. Now let me see. Yes. A star glows bright, illuminating the path ahead. You walk along it. But you have yet to reach its end. If you continue along this path, it will change the world. It will not be easy, but the star burns fiercely. Our stars will join it, filling the world with light. Gosh! Gosh, that's very, well, quite encouraging, actually. Oi! 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 Oi, Evan Man! Oi, Evan Man! Why don't we ask this chap if he wants to join us in our kingdom? He's a proper talent, if you ask me. Hmm. You wish me to accompany you to your new kingdom? I am offered. But I'm afraid I must repeat. I cannot leave the city at this at the moment. People would think I was running away in disgrace. Why is why is that? Did why is that? Did something happen? My reputation here in Goldpaw has suffered greatly of late. Alas, I have no idea why. And thus, no means to rectify the situation. Really? Come on, Mon! You're a fortune. You're a fortune teller. You must have some clue what's going on. As a matter of fact, I consulted the fate a while ago. I saw two stars arriving in Gold's Park. Throwing light on this whole misunderstanding and clearing my name. Two stars? Two stars? Could that mean us? Who else? Who else, man? If it. If we manage to help him, that'll mean his prophecy was right. Which means all. That proper daily stuff that he said about you'll turn out to be true as well. Hmm. Well, perhaps we could help him regardless. Can you tell us where you think these awful rumors about your or might have started? Of course it does. 
I can I can only imagine that that they began at the casino. That is where I usually work, you see. I make a prediction as to, or as to the outcomes of customer bets. <laughs> Let's see now. The casino! The casino, eh? Right you are! Come on, Evan! Wait, let's see what people down there are saying about our... Well, well, by here. By here. Casino is a battleground, boy. Perhaps it, you could, you should come back in a few years when you have learned a little bit more of, of life. <laughs> Hugh Ling was once one of the finest horses hosts in Gold's Pond, but he's become terribly greedy and tight fisted of late. I even heard that he, he even demands extra fees of. of Gamblers who win as a result of his predictions. Such behavior is unheard of. It is, just, it is a disgrace. Well, we got one. The. I can see a 10% cut, but, or something if they actually win. Two leg was a hard, or a terrible, well, a terribly hard cut. Who could have predicted that he would become such a mean-spirited pity pitcher? I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Okay, but you must understand that uh, this is most inconvenient for the other customers. <laughs> I appreciate if you did not disturb me in the middle of a hand. Alrighty. You would like to know about Hu Ling? How Ling? How Ling? Oh my god. Okay. Well, I do not know. I do know one story about him. Apparently, he managed to convince some gullible tourist to, to go with him to something he called a lucky spot. Where he proceeded to give the poor man nonsensical advice about how sitting across or how cross legged sitting up about how sitting cross legged 
would bring him good fortune. He sounds like an utter scoundrel to me. Mm. Howling has been reduced with heavy extracted amounts of money from this tourist help the money of fallen you. How these predictions are utter nonsense. Do not ask him to tell you how your bet will turn out, whatever you do. He seemed so confident and assured that you see. I decided to set up my stay and go all in. I ended up losing everything. Howling was not wrong. The poor dad's reputation is in tatters. Everyone we spoke to was thought about in him as something rotten. I'd better. I'd like to speak to the tourist Howling is supposed to have tricked, wouldn't you? Oh, bang it! Good thinking, man. Well, be able to tell. He'll be able to tell us uh, all the juicy details, I'm sure. If he followed our friend's uh, supposed advice, he'd still be sitting somewhere across late, eh? I am honestly kind of interested in this myself now.
was over here. I always remember seeing someone cross-legged. Well, I was not expecting that. What? Alright, I know the voice for him. Yes, yes, I think it's working. I can feel myself getting luckier. Hey, you there. Can you sense it too? Do I seem luckier to you? Well, um, perhaps? I don't think you should necessarily should necessarily trust trust uh, what that fortune teller told you though what why not he's one of the most famous fortune tellers in gold paw i went to him especially well i'm afraid to say you might not have found him now what can you tell me about the person who told you to sit here what did he look like? Hmm. Let me see, uh, he had long white hair and a blue robe, but his hair was covering his face, so I didn't get a very good look at it. Hmm. Oh, what ya, what ya, what are you thinking, Evan? That's... Uh, that someone going around to pretend to be you howling? That's it. That's interesting. Still, shouldn't be too hard to find. Are it, monster? Sounds like he's got quite a distinctive look. Mm. I, I agree. Let's go. Let's take a look around town. Howling was one of the was one of the blue rose with long white hair, right? What's that? His face? I didn't get good look at it. Now they mentioned it, his hair was covering it up.
Aha! <laughs> Keep dabbling, you fools. Your greed makes you so into the sea. Long right white hair. Blue rose. This must be our man! Excuse me? Excuse me, are you howling? Who's... Oh! Yes, howling. Yes, I am he. Yes, I am he. Ah, I sense that you are a tourist here. Would you care to have your fortune told? Oh, that cheek! You've... You've got a lot of flippin' cheek, man! I am he... I am he, my fort! You're no more howling than I am! Duh! Uh, I knew this would happen eventually! Flip! He's a Don Runner! Let's get after him, Evan! Come on! He went that way! Towards the, the lucky lady! Well, let me run! you now, Rotter. You better stop pretending to be our mate howling or will. Shh! The real howling will. You are the one who has been tarnishing my hard-earned or hard-won reputation. <laughs> I suppose the game is up, so... Yes, it is true. I am the one who has been pretending to be you. Crikey! Crikey! He almost sounds proud of it all of a sudden. But why? Why would you do that? <coughs> Lie ah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I too am a fortune teller, but no one has ever heard of me. Uh, it was uh, nigh on impossible for me to find any customers. So I decided to borrow the name of one of Goldspaw's most famous soothsayers. And it worked. Visitors from the countryside fall for the ruse every time. Ugh. How dare you! How dare you! you how dare you claim to be any kind of fortune teller. What you have done brings disgrace upon us. Upon what you have done brings disgrace upon us all. But I really am a fortune teller. Sometimes my predictions really do come true. And when they do, people are so grateful for it. It feels wonderful. It made borrowing your name worthwhile. I only wanted to try it once or twice. I did not mean for things to get out of hand. But once I had begun the deceit, I found it hard to stop. 
I see two stars above your head. One has burnt out and lost its light. The other seems as though it will only burn ever more brightly. It is up to you to decide which of these stars is to be your guiding light from here on. Howling. Are you telling my fortune? Go and tell the people of Goldsmore what you have done. Complete honesty. Without it, you can never hope to become a fortune teller. No matter how talented you are. Simply pretending someone else is the domain of clowns and villains. I A little respect for the actors, please! It benefits no one. Now go. Go and clear my name. I... I understand how it is. I will never do anything like this again. I promise. I will explain to everyone what I have done. And then I shall work hard to become a real fortune teller, Just like you. Gosh. Gosh. I didn't expect it. Or, I... it didn't take much to persuade him to go straight. Yes. Indeed. Uh, indeed not. Now, King Evan. I must thank you. I doubt I could have restored my good name without your... Or... <laughs> without your assistance. If the invitation still stands... I would be honored to join you. Yes! Of course! It would... Of course it still stands, Howling! It will be a wonder... It will be wonderful to have you. And that makes 25, baby! Yeah! WE CAN NOW MAKE A LEVEL 2 KINGDOM! Or whatever level we are. Yeah, I think we're at level 2 now, okay. Whew. But we can do better. We still have a bunch of quests to accept. Let's get them going and then we'll... Really get going. How are you? Hello there, young man. I am pleased to say that this is your lucky day. You see, I have been looking for someone with whom I can share my tale. And that tale is an account of such bravery and daring to do that is sure to provide a sort of of strength and inspiration. It begins half a century ago. Okay, I've definitely heard this, but I don't think it's from this game. Uh, whatever. It begins half a century ago, when I was but a young pup trying to make my way in the world. 
this makes us up on Super 11. Come to 11. I am a... I got a feeling this will be a long one. Mm -hmm. It does... It does sound interesting though. In fact, I'm rather looking forward to hearing it. Gorya! Gorya, you really are a wide eye innocent, aren't you? And so, I went on to dazzle the world with my battlefield prowess. I traveled to distant kingdoms and smote entire herds of portents. Portents? Am I saying that right? Okay. Whatever. I took to the high seas and I took to the high seas and suppressed schools of ferocious bank fish. I once even brought down a wave worm well, with a single well-placed arrow. I was unstoppable, invincible, the world's greatest warrior. Gosh. Gosh, that's well, it's incredible in only word. <laughs> you are impressed, I see. And no doubt you are wondering how you too might develop such a reputation, yes? Well, fear not, young man. I have prepared a triumph for you. A, a trial? Indeed so. You are... You are to journey to the shrine near the city and take on a fearsome monster by the name of <sighs> Conflagra. The ominous smoke that surrounds her will first easy enough to recognize. Mm. Ominous smoke, that sounds familiar. Yeah. It certainly does, man. I think we both know what we're dealing with them by year. She is indeed a vicious creature, and no mistake, she seems to enjoy nothing more than the sight of heart or helpless travelers turning tail and fleeing in terror by her ferocious walks. Which is not to say that I could not have a triumph over in my younger days, of course. Of course. But age has taken its toll. My powers, I fear, are not the way that I know better than to seek such confrontation now. Oh. Oh. But what? It is time for the younger generation to take over. You must smite the beast to in the or in my stead. And in doing so, you will provide yourself worthy of being my successor. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll do it. I'll go and defeat that monster for you. Thanks. Excellent. I knew. You would not let me down. Are you sure about this one? I mean, you have really thought it through properly, like. Mm. What are you... What is there to think about Lofty? It is a monster. There's a been infected by the awful darkness. Someone's got to deal with it. Someone's got to deal with her. Or we'll all be in trouble. And besides, I want to see if I am good at, as he was. <laughs> I knew you. I knew he'd reeled you in with one of them tall tales of his. As your kingmaker, I am obliged to say you're already twice the fighter he ever was. But there's only one way to 
find out for certain, ain't it? Long range ring. Huh. There's a man in Goldfall who loves to tell stories about his adventures of his younger days. And now he wants Evan to follow in his footsteps and become equally heroic. The first step, defeat a vicious monster that has taken up residence near the city. Nah, we're not gonna make that active one, but we're gonna do it eventually. Ah, oh, my nose is starting to feel better. Allergy meds, I love ya. All right, let's do this. So, so, uh, okay. so, so, a bun costs a hundred guilders, and I give you five hundred guilders. How much do you give me? Don't, don't know. Hello. Hello. <coughs> hey. That was a quick shift, I guess. Hello there. There. What are you doing? We, we're planning on opening a shop where, when you're, when you're. We're planning to opening a shop when we're older. So we're practicing just. To, like Miss Penny taught us. Miss hmm? Penny? Miss Penny? Surely not. You know her, Evan? Mm -hmm. back, w back when my father was alive, Miss Penny would sometimes come to the castle and give me lessons. Huh. So she was your tutor, huh? You wouldn't happen to know where Miss Penny is now, would you? She told us that she was going to, to the forest of the... Oh, we were just... She told us she was going to the forest of the all. She's taking some textbooks to one of the all's apprentices, I think. I'm really worried about her, though. Dad said the forest is full of wolves. Wolves? Oh my. Yeah. We'd better go after her and tell and make sure she's alright. Yep, that's her. Yeah, we'll make it our active for now. Excuse me, are you all right? What's the matter? Hey! Uh, oh, look, mother. Look, mother. It's King Evan. We should ask King... King Evan to help us. <sighs> Shh, quiet. Yeah, yapping pup. We do not need anyone's assistance. We will cope just fine on our own. What do you need? Oh, oh, but if there's anything we can do to help, we can do, we'd be happy to help, really. Could you at least tell us what's go what the problem is? Yeah. Well, if you don't, or if you must know, we recently set out to pay off. A visit to uh, Capstan upon a hull. But we never made it there. A vicious monster attacked us on the way. Wait. It seems like. Uh, it seems it likes to prey on children and the infirm. The brute. 
is too cowardly to pick on any one its own size. We put out a call to the local monster hunters, but the cavern creature sulks off and hid. Now the hunter thinks that think us liars. Huh. That sounds like a pretty cunning monster. Hmm. It's ter it's terrible. Or it's terrorizing people. But nobody is going going after it. And we can't do any we can't do nothing ourselves to stop it. <laughs> so how are you going? get to Caspin. Um... We will have to go by boat. It takes a bit... or it takes a lot longer. But at least the brute cannot attack us at sea. That's not a solution. It makes things way harder. Not just for you, but for anyone else headed that way. I'm sure it will move on eventually. Such opportunistic creatures always do. And once it has, we will be able to make our way to Calf's in, in peace. No. No. No way. I'm not going to let this happen. Um, are you alright, Roland? We don't give in to bullies. We can't let them have their way and we won't. But, but, oh, we'll take care of that monster for you. You said it attacked you on the way to Captain upon a hole? That's, yes, that's right. It runs away at, uh, at the first sound of of soldiers on the march. But your smaller numbers should draw less attention. <sighs> Good. Come on, Evan. Um, alright. Oh, bro. Lynn is not happy. I don't blame him! I'd be right myth too! Well, hello my boxer friend! Huh? Master Chow Chow! Ah, oh, you must... Be the new ah, you must be the new delivery boy. Where have you been? We have many, many orders waiting for you already. D delivery boy, I am. Um, I think you mistaken me for. You have no time for chitter chatter, child. You have orders to deliver. But, but okay. Huh. Oh. What is our motto? Hmm? That's right. Fast. As fate, delicious as destiny. So get those hot steak, egg spicy noodles delivered and quickly. You have three orders waiting for you already, and you have three minutes to deliver them, them to the hungry people of Cloud of Gold Paw. What? For three minutes? That's impossible. If our chef, our chef, if our chefs can make them that quickly, you can deliver them that quickly. Now prepare yourself and speak with me when you are ready to set out. Uh, yes, sir. Three minutes before they get cold, it takes my food at least 15 to 20.
Okay. Master Chow Chow, what the hell? Ah, no, I'm not making that bite. I'll talk to you when I'm ready. God dang. Okay, what do you want, dude? Long mane. You have a long mane. Ew. Ew. You look suspicious to me. Me. You think you can evade the all-seeing eye of long mane, huh? Show me your entry papers, now! Uh, entry paper? Papers? Ha! Exactly as I thought! You do not have permission to enter! There's no use in denying it further! You are a spy hoping to slip in the city undetected! What? What? What are you talking about? Uh, what? What, uh, what uh, would you think? What would you think that? What? Why would you think that? What the? Long, long mane. Are you accusing visitors to our kingdom again? I hope you have. I hope you have not leveled any of your wild accusations against him. Against them. How? How dare you! I'm simply taking responsible measures to keep undesirables out of Gold's Paw. Why would anyone object to that? Mother! Every time. I'm every single time. It is the same. I can only apologize that Insolent Pup's name is Long Mane. He is notorious. He is notorious for accosting travelers in the manner you just experienced. He said. He said he was trying to keep undesirables out of Gold's Paw. Yes. Huh. That may be what he believed, but it's nonsense. The entry papers he demands from visitors do not even exist. Oh. Oh. The boy uh, truly... Uh, the boy is truly a thorn in our side. He, o he is only a guard in training, and yet he has taken it upon himself to defend the kingdom every or single-handed. We have tried ordering him to cease and desist. But he only, or he will not listen. There must be something we can do about him, but I am at a loss to what. Hmm. Well, well, his methods might be a little unusual, but his heart seems to be in the right place. He certainly wants to protect his kingdom. Yes, yes. I have to say, I am quite intrigued by this long-winged fellow. Let's go talk to him again. Okay. That's a dog? I mean, I had my suspicions, but I had... Was also pretty convinced he was a downright lo cat at some point. Yeah, he has a fire in his belly, all right. And he's gonna be a member. Great. Yeah, we'll make it alright. Ah, 
Can you again? Can, can you not see that I'm engaged in an important mission? I am too busy to talk. Leave me alone. A mission? What kind of mission? I am... I keep an eye on that man and woman over there. They have been in deep conversation for for a suspiciously long time. To be fair, I think I've seen them there for at least what three episodes now, which is like God knows how many days in this game. <laughs> and look, and look, look how closely they stand. They could only do so if they did not want to be overheard. They are. They did not want to be overheard. They are spies discussing how to bring Gold's paw to its knees. Oh. <sighs> but they look like an ordinary couple to me. Silence! How can I focus on my mission with you chatting away? <laughs> no, it's uh, no good. My focus is ruined. I will have to come back later. Do not get in my way again. Are we sure we want this? Yeah. Loving girlfriend. You look innocent enough, but I do not trust you at all. Why must you consistently disturb our special day? What is it that you want? Yeah. It was a great relief to see that strange boy leave. But we still cannot enjoy the moment of peace it seems. It is too much to ask that you leave us alone. It is not time yet! It is not time yet! Jeez! We still got an hour and five minutes, kid! Again, do you intend to disrupt every one of my missions? Mm. Sure. What's the assignment this time, Long May? Long May. God, where the hell this happened? come from? What's what? Ugh, God, I already lose it. What's the mission this time, Long May? Do you see that uh, courier over there? Or courier? He is clearly a, a suspicious character. I am certain he is stealing from the house uh, and using the money to fund the various activities. Really? What makes you think that? My instincts, of course. What else? What else? It is uh, only uh, is the only thing a soldier can truly rely upon. The 
science cold hard facts in this case but you can't just I can or I can something must be done about this criminal he is allowed to, if he is allowed to continue acting with impunity he'll bring gold spot to its knees I would Get on with the friggin' Good bear at this point. He must I must seek out uh, Master of Pug Nations and ask him to wear me in as a guard. Then I will Then I will be able to make the arrest. There he goes. Why do I have a feeling Pug Nations is absolutely sick of this kid? I cannot imagine how many daily reports he does. Okay. Let's see if we can get Get fired today! Hey! Please, let me speak to Master Pugnacious! I cannot remain a trainee any longer. I demand he to be sworn in as a guard. Ridiculous. You again. How many times must I tell you? Do not, or you do not have permission to be here. Now go home immediately. <laughs> they will not listen to me. None of them. Who could possibly have any objections to at swearing on such as I in as a guard? Imbeciles! Of course I have seen. A scene? You have You have not seen anything yet! I refuse to go! I will not leave until I have... I will not leave until I have seen him! Mm. It doesn't look like we're going to convince him. You must really, really want to be a guard. Hey! Please, I must speak to Master Pugnacious. I cannot remain a trainee any longer. I demand to be sworn in. Ridiculous. Oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me. I will forget her. I don't want this kid as a guard. Long Main, if you really want to be a guard so much, why don't you come to my kingdom? I'd be happy to have. You. We could. You someone with your spirit. That isn't spirit! That is overzealousness! Ha! <laughs> ha! Huh. Huh. Out of the question! What? What? Why not? I have no time to waste on insignificant backwaters. I have. Bye. 
Oh, God, I could. I have... I have no... I have no... Time to waste on insignificant backwaters. I have a glittering career... To be uh, getting underway. Of course, if you were to prove your worth by my effusive criminal, by my effusive criminal factions, known as the Pork Horde and the Verminators, perhaps I might reconsider. Oh. Really? Really? Then we'll go take care of them right away. We'll be right back in no time, you'll see! Ha! We will see about that. It is a sizable life for Russia's force. That's alright. And together, they're well. Gosh. Gosh. This sounds as though it might be rather... Or be quite the battle. We'll win the day, though. You'll see. Ha! Your confidence is quite something. These heartless marauders are known to loiter around the calm lands. Do not come back to me with excuses. It's about not having been able to find them. We won't... So don't forget your promise. We'll be holding you to it. Unfortunately. And then why do you want this? Unless... You travel to the Carlisle to feed the poor cars and blah blah blah. Oh, I know we're hurting for soldiers, but really, kid. Let's go freeze on these little twits.
Finally! Curse equipment. Oh, okay, that's gonna be useful later, I suppose. Oh boy.
I don't I don't like to blow my old trumpet but but I'm dab hand I'm dab hand the and all manner of things just between you and me I reckon then I'm a decent bet they were taken over f on the boss one day Huh, the fence for now. How about that? Plenty of folk stay to a swamp like me. It's only good for one thing, fighting. But there's more than one string to my bow, matey. Looks like uh, slaving away uh, for the boss all, all these years uh, has paid off. If you need something done, Evan, leave it to me. charge of supplies back at Cloud Coil Canyon. Tis where I got me eye for detail, eh? Or I? There's none quicker quicker than me at picking up what's afoot. You mark me words.
Oh boy, where are you? Money. Yes! I may be a chef by trade, but there's uh, so much else I'm capable of. You could almost say I have uh, other fish to fry. Hmm?
Oh my f Lord, I was mute the entire. Okay, everyone. Uh, God, I, just... oh, I hate when I do that. So, we got a lot done today. We have finally expanded our kingdom to the point, or to a great point of level two. We have a decent Thanks. amount of kingdom coffers. We have a thriving kingdom. And I will see you all next time. Thank you all for joining me this Mother's Day. So, till we... So, as always, be good to each other. Be the change you want to see in the world. Go give your mother a hug. It's her special day if she was good to you. Or whoever you consider the mother in your life. And as always, be safe out there. Till we meet again.